All right, welcome back to the channel. Errol Spence Jr. sends a message out to the haters. All the Terrence Crawford fans. <laughs> Because they in that comment section deep, man. Y'all are out there trying to clown off some foolishness. But uh, my man says, Aerosmith says, if you don't understand me, you're not where I'm from. Now, that statement can mean a whole lot of stuff. Uh, but if you go through the comment sections, you got Terrence Crawford fans laying it on thick. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Uh, Errol Spence Jr. has a message for the haters. If you don't understand me, you don't know where I'm from. Now, what could that mean? Let's give a little background to what's going on with Errol Spence Jr. Errol Spence Jr. is the WBC and the IBF world champion, the number one welterweight in the world. Just got done last night watching a terrific fight, which, by the way, was being called by KQKC over on his channel. He is doing that uh, now. So keep your eye, keep your lookout for that, because there's a lot of classic fights um, or newly classic fights being played on Fox um, since we're in this hiatus. So and they just played the Errol Spence Jr. Mikey Garcia fight. And it was, by the way, uh, coincidentally enough, exactly where t where uh Errol Spence was from. It was held in Dallas, Dallas Stadium. Man, it was wonderful to watch. De Errol Spence Jr., man. Errol Spence Jr. was beating, the, beating Mikey Garcia from pillar to post. Mikey Garcia showed he had a nice chin and all that, but that was just getting played last night. That was just on last night. And watching that fight, I again, again, think to myself that Errol Spence Jr. is going to beat Terrence Crawford. And see, and I think that was what this whole uh, I think this whole thing is about. If you don't understand me, you're not where I'm from. So there's what could people be misunderstanding about Errol Spence Jr.? Well, obviously, if you listen to my man Woolbag on my channel or drink more water on my channel I've, I, I, and man, shout out to Southside Boxing. I haven't seen Southside Boxing in a while, but uh, definitely go check out his channel. Big, uh, big Terrence Crawford fan. Uh, a lot of people are saying um, that Errol Smith Jr. is a uh, ducking uh, Terrence Crawford because Errol Smith Jr. said that he was going to take a certain route, the easier side of the street. Right. Which was the easier side, the easier way to make fights. And he was going to unify the belts with the dub with the PBC fighters uh, and the PBC fighters at the time that he said it was Sean Porter, who that fight took place right after uh, the Mikey Garcia, the fight that we just mentioned. And um, uh, Manny Pacquiao, who who knows who he's going to fight or if after this layoff, who he's, uh, you know, if he's going to fight again. But Errol Spence Jr. said he was going to do that. A lot of people interpreted that as uh, saying that he was going to duck Terrence Crawford. They want to see the Terrence Crawford fight now. And it seems to me now somebody can correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section that what Errol Spence Jr. is saying is, hey, if you don't understand me and understand that I'm going to fight, Terrence Crawford, then you don't know where I'm from. So like that is the that is where he's from, which is the Soto, Texas in, in Dallas, Texas. Dudes are going to fight. They're going to come at you. And you can see that you really can see that in the way that Errol Spence Jr. fights. And I do believe that personalities that people do fight, um, they do fight in their own personality. Right. It And so where you have somebody like Errol Spence Jr., Errol, if you just watch the way that he fights, man, he's somebody that is really looking for action. He's somebody that is really pressing forward. He's not he's not taking him. You know, he's not taking seconds off. He is somebody that is is coming forward and is looking to get a lot of contact and looking to mix it up. And see, just the way the way that he did that does that versus the way that Terrence Crawford fights. Man has me leaning towards Errol Smith Jr. in that fight. But if you think about just the concept of, you know, the way that he fights, um, the personality that he has and the way that he has gone about getting his belts, all of that speaks to the fact that this kid 
um, wants to fight the best, co- wants to fight the best competition. One of the one example, and and that is why I truly do believe that he wants to fight Terrence Crawford. And if that fight with Terrence Crawford gets made, it's going to be it's going to be made because of Errol Spence Jr.'s insistence to fight Terrence Crawford. And I think Errol Spence Jr. more than likely will do that. Like, think about when Terrence, when Errol Spence Jr. was fighting, um, when he decided to fight Mikey Garcia. Mikey Garcia was a bigger fight than than Sean Porter was at that time. But if you listen to the way that Errol Spence Jr. was talking, Errol Spence Jr. was saying that he wanted to fight Sean Porter. And the only reason he fought Mikey Garcia is because Sean Porter wouldn't fight him. Now, as good as the fight was with Sean Porter and Errol Spence, if you recall correctly, it was Sean, it was Errol Spence who was in the ring with, with uh, Sean Porter after the after Sean Porter won the WBC belt by beating Danny Garcia for that vacant belt. That was a fight that was pushed by Errol Spence Jr. Before Errol Spence, before Sean Porter wanted it, it was like Errol Spence Jr. was the one that made the Sean Porter fight. It was not Sean Porter making the Errol Spence Jr. fight. It wasn't a scenario where Sean Porter was calling out Errol Spence. It was the other way around, even though Errol Spence Jr. by that time had become the the more uh the the more um uh prominent fighter with you know the bigger name. He did that even though so he didn't avoid Sean Porter. He and he wanted Sean Porter instead of Mikey Garcia, but then after Mikey Garcia was, he went and got Sean Porter. He went and got Sean Porter. So now he's saying that he wants to get Manny Pacquiao. He gets Manny Pacquiao, then he wants Ter- then he wants Terrence Crawford. And he said in an interview recently that the Terrence Crawford fight is gonna happen. The Terrence he said that it that it might not happen this year. If it doesn't happen this year, then it's gonna happen next year. So. That's what he's saying. And I believe that's what he means by if you don't understand me, you're not where I'm from. You know that. And it could be metaphorically, too, because you're just not where you just not seeing what's if people think that Errol Smith Jr. is the one avoiding that fight. They're not they're not doing a couple things. Number one, they're not listening to Errol Spence. Number two, they're not listening to Terrence Crawford because Terrence Crawford is Terrence Crawford is saying that. Uh, Errol Spence Jr. is not ducking him, and then Errol, Jr., Errol Spence Jr. would make that fight. Now, the pro- the uh, the obvious problem with that is something we've been talking about for a while, which is that Terrence Crawford, um, his profile is funny. So the guys that are the other people over there, the PBC that have to be involved in making that fight, they might not be overly anxious for the fight because they say, well, this needs to be enough of money and everything. It, n- n- there needs to be enough money in this. Um, for everybody to make money. That's something Derek James said, and that's something that and that's something that Terrence Crawford said. So the idea, like this, going through the the um comment sections of Errol Smith Jr.'s Twitter to me was just really sounded funny. And obviously, these are just people you know who are Terrence Crawford fans, probably a group of kids out of Omaha that all decided, hey, it's it's Saturday afternoon, let's let's go harass somebody about Bud on on Twitter, because honestly and truly, his fan base, his true fan base, has not grown much, um, and seems as if it's taken a bit of hit since he's come to the welterweight division, which is something I would like to see remedied because I think Terrence Crawford is number is, and I continue to have him there, continue to have him as the number one pound for pound fighter in the world, but get argued, you know, not argued down, but a lot of people are just saying, Hey, you know, how can you be the number one pound for pound person in the world if you ain't fought anybody? But you know, Hey, I say Terrence Crawford fight, Sean Porter fight, Danny Garcia fight, Kell Brook fight, Ugas, but you know, the powers that be over there at ESPN don't seem too primed for it. And now where we might not have boxing for a while, um, you know, it seems even further off, man. A lot of people were saying that Aerosmith accusing Aerosmith Jr. of trying to age out Terrence Crawford. Man, they're not that much different in age. I think there's like a three, maybe what is there, like a two, three year difference in age between the two of them. Aerosmith Jr. is no spring chicken. I think he's going to be 30. He should be 30 this year, man. He started boxing. He just started boxing a little late, but um, I don't get the I don't get the desire of people to blame 
uh, Errol Spence Jr. for his lack of. It's not like Errol Spence Jr. has had a lack of competition. Errol Spence Jr. has fought the top level fighters. I'll con- and, and he's going to continue to fight top level fighters. This is a guy that said he's absolutely willing to fight. Uh, he's willing to fight Canelo Alvarez. I think that if he didn't know the guy, er- Errol Spence Jr. would fight Jamal Charlo. Which would be that actually sounds crazy, but I would have no doubt that he would do it. I don't believe it at all that he would be trying to duck Terrence Crawford. Neither does Terrence Crawford, and neither do you, to be truthful. Just trying to find a way to poke at Errol Spence and trying to <laughs> try to make an excuse for the reason of Ter- for the fact that Terrence Crawford ain't fought nobody and does need to grow his profile. But anyway, it is what it is. You let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Peace.